I would sum up my uh, approach is that you know you're you're turning the super tanker, okay? You know um, you're, you're going in the right direction, you, and uh, you, you, there's a fair bit of momentum, but you're going in the wrong direction, and you're heading towards the rocks. Uh, and it's my job, okay, to basically start turning that super tanker, okay? Uh, and w why do I talk about it with turning super tanker? Well, well, sometimes that can take a little bit of time. You know, it, you know, it's it's not something that you can turn on a sixpence. Sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, education, a little bit of guidance, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, uh, um, you know, training and teaching and, and sort of uh, uh, helping raise awareness to be able to sort of to, to make that turn. So uh, in terms of the, the, the challenges that I've seen that uh, traders face, uh, it's very often a case with sort of with private traders is that they're, um, they're, they're overconfident uh, and under skilled okay um, i sort of alluded earlier to talking about you know you wouldn't think you could fly a jumbo jet after a two-day course or you wouldn't think you could drive a formula one uh, car after a two-day course but people think you know they they can trade you know financial markets successfully on an intraday basis you know after after a two-day course so they they you know they, they don't have the skills but they but they ha they are overconfident okay they're they're led to believe that they're they're able to achieve that uh, and that tends to lead to sort of poor expectation management. You know, it's all about managing expectations in terms of what they think is is possible for them, based upon you know, based upon the, their level of skill and the actual the endeavour that they're, that they're looking to undertake. I think there's a uh, there's there's elements of there's elements of organisations and individuals who are uh, who make it appear that that actually trading financial markets is is a is a is an easy simple undertaking okay that you know that anybody can do and, and actually only takes you know 20 minutes a day or so I, I think actually trading financial markets is simple but but it's not easy if it was easy everybody would be doing it okay but it, and it t takes a fair amount of education and dedication and, and, and perseverance but I think so I think there are elements of uh, elements of the, the sort of let's say that overall industry that that look to uh, to sort of sell this uh, sell this uh, image of you know that uh, you know you're you're going to be making you know uh, millions of pounds easily and that you know you're going to be you know living a rock star lifestyle of flying around in private jets and uh, on your private yacht and and having uh, you know holidays everywhere etc uh, and, and you know and and, and you know the, you know, the honest is that the people want that. People, you know, people hear what they want to hear. They, they you know, they they sold that kind of uh, sold that kind of lifestyle. But actually, the reality is 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 you know is usually different for the for the vast majority of person. So there's a breakdown between the kind of you know the, the sort of the, the vision they've been sold and the reality of what actually happens within within financial markets. Okay. So for some people, that will lead to, to problems when they see the reality. Um, you know, it's not what they like, and, and and so often they that's when they'll they'll give up. You know, that's when they'll give up trading because actually they realise it's 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 not what they it's not what they were sold, and actually you know, to, to, to be a successful intraday trader takes takes dedication and, and, and perseverance. What other challenges I've seen? Well, it, one of the big ones for for private trading is actually over trading. Okay. Uh, and this can mean uh, this can mean quite a few things. This can mean that they are uh, over trading in terms of the, the amount of trades they're putting into the market. They're over trading that way. It might be that they're over leveraging. That you know their their, their positions are, uh, are are too big. You know it could be that they're just not managing risk in terms of their overall either their overall portfolio or their overall uh, instrument risk, um, or they're just you know they they are um, uh, they're just basically uh, over over trading in terms of they feel a need to do something some of the a lot of the people who come from private trading they you know they've come from working in a kind of a, a nine to five normal job they've been conditioned that they need to be doing something need to be doing something they need to be doing something so when they sit in front of a market they you know and they're not in the market they feel they need i've got to be in i've got to be in the market i've got to be doing something i've got to be taking positions i've got to be doing something i've got to be doing something i've got to be doing something i've got to, there's a kind of a, like an urge and a need to to to, to be active within the market uh, and very often what private traders don't realize is that uh, being flat, being out of the market, that, that is a position in itself. You can go long, you can go short, you can be on the sidelines. Okay, All three of them are equally valid positions within the market based upon what that, what that market's doing. So very often people will, you know, they'll get poor results because they're just, they, you know, they're, they're trading when they shouldn't be, you know, they should be sat on their hands, you know, they should be going off doing something else, but instead they're kind of just trying to, trying to sort of, you know, eke out some, uh, some profit here and there when, when in fact it's, um, it's a pointless endeavor. Another uh, challenge that I've uh, seen traders facing is, is, is quite simply that, you know, amateurs are always thinking about how much can I win 
whereas professionals are always thinking about how much can I lose, okay? Um, uh, it, it might be said that, that trading is nothing more than the flow of money from, from an amateur to a professional, okay? Amateurs are always thinking, how much can I win? Professionals are always thinking about how much can I lose? And so the money flows from an amateur to a professional, okay? Because the professionals, they're always managing risk, always managing risk in from, you know, that's the first thing that crosses their mind. They're always looking at, at managing risk first, and then profits, that comes afterwards, that comes later, okay? But you're always managing risk, whereas amateurs don't really think about the risk, but they're thinking about, wow, you know, I could win this much, I could win X, I could Y, I could win Z, okay? And that's what kind of drives their, uh, that's what drives their decision making. And it's a, one of those things about sort of turning them from being, you know, that amateur with a hobby into a professional with a business. And that starts with actually teaching them how to manage risk and how to view the markets in terms of, uh, in terms of their own risk profile. That's, you know, they need to learn how to do that straight away. And one of the other challenges that I, uh, that I see with it, individuals is that they, they have very little in the way of um, strategy and tactics for, for engaging with the markets. They, they don't really have, a, have a, a defined edge within the market, okay? They're just really, they're just punters, really, okay? They're, they're not really following any kind of strategy or tactic. They're just, you know, buying and selling as and when they see fit. You know, market goes up, I'll buy it. Market goes down, I'll sell it, okay? Um, that's about the best strategy they've got. Or, or even worse, they're, you know, they're, they're using hope as a strategy. Uh, hope isn't a successful strategy in the, in the financial markets, okay? So you have to work with them to start to define and understand their, their, their overall strategy and also their overall tactics of actually how they engage with the market. You know, their, their overall method for, for engaging with, with financial markets. And uh, quite often that's a case about educating them about that and then actually uh, sort of mentoring and coaching an individual to actually to, to stick with that, okay? And to, to, as I say, to move towards being a professional with a business rather than just a, uh, rather than just a punter who's like uh, shooting off trades like, uh, like, you know, like machine gun bullets, okay? You know, we want you to be a sniper rather than just some random machine gunner.